CNBC exclusive. Tui, good to have you. For the folks who aren't familiar, you guys are cloud for construction management and um, overall larger customers doing pretty well, some churn with the smaller ones. What do you see affecting the space right now? Well, there's, uh, John, great to see you, by the way. It's, it's uh, always um, um, kind of great to step back and just remember how big the opportunity is for Procore. So the, the strength that we saw was really across the board from uh, the largest customers down into the mid-market. And yes, we did experience um, some logo churn at the very, very bottom end of the uh, customer base, but it didn't show up in any of the numbers uh, just because it's, uh, they were so do low dollar amounts. Uh, so, but in general, the uh, optimism is strong in the market. Uh, my customer calls lead to uh, people telling me that their their backlogs are big and growing. To what extent uh, are is Fed policy affecting uh, capital spend and the construction space, and thus construction management? And I know you're working on international growth as well. Uh, you, you grew thirty seven percent international year over year, I, I believe. How is the, the Fed policy in the U.S. and kind of the cost of capital affecting just the U.S. and then the global picture for you? Yeah, so uh, first and foremost, the Fed policies have um, had, had, had an impact, but not a massive impact on the overall construction economy. Um, projects that would be have been delayed because of um, concerns around inflation uh, are now apparently coming more back online because those projects simply have to get built. Uh, but in general, the uh, also the the all of the Infrastructure Act and the uh, uh, the Chips Act and all the other uh, government um, programs are actually uh, starting to materialize in the marketplace, which is creating a tailwind.